If you guys haven't seen this car before, go back and watch my own videos. I ain't gonna tell you mother again. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to part-time mechanic, full-time lumber. <laughs> I'm your host, Mark. I'm your co-host, uh, Mediocre Mike. AKA Shaggy Do. Shaggy, Shaggy Don't. Shaggy Might. What are we doing today, Mark? <clears throat> today, we're gonna introduce a new phase of this project, which is fixing something that's broken yet again. <laughs> <laughs> so that the, that the track broke specifically. Something that the track broke specifically. So I have bent my rear subframe <laughs> in this car, the GC8, which we've all grown fond of. You know? that, that doesn't get less funny every time you say it. No. You bent your entire rear subframe. Yeah, I bent the subframe. So I couldn't get my alignment anywhere near where it should have been. So I decided on Black Friday to pull the trigger on what the last video kind of hinted at, we alluded to. Alluded to. <clears throat> I uh, bought a TSS Fab rear subframe and TSS Fab trailing arms, um, all chromoly, very nice stuff. I think my co-host here is getting the subframe as we speak. Oh my gosh, that's stout. You won't be hurting anyone any longer. So this is what we got. <clears throat> what do you think, YouTube family? <laughs> this one's not bent. Yeah. And it's gonna be a lot harder for us to bend. That's the main takeaway so, here. That's cool. There's uh, some pretty slick heim joints we got here. I like those. And nice that's where hardware. The, is that where those arms are gonna hook up? Or this, is that an outboard? These here goes, you, these will be where the, uh, you Dif know, with differential? The, the differential. Okay. That's the one. Got it. Yep. And then this is where the, the trailing arm, or not the trailing arm, but these are for the uh, lateral links here <clears> and here. This uses all the factory pickup points in the chassis, so this is like a, almost a direct bolt in. We gotta massage the gas tank a little bit and move some stuff around, but overall, this should be hopefully a fairly straightforward install, and uh, hopefully, will solve a lot of the issues that, you know, I was having before, so. <laughs> yeah, because you drive like an idiot. Absolutely. But yeah, this car's rowdy as hell, and this is going to be the step in the right direction, which is more race car. More race car. Because you need more race car. You have a lot of streetable, fast cars. You need, like, race car. Oh my god. <laughs> she thick, dude. Thicker than a snicker. Here, you take that. Okay. That's actually okay. not too heavy, though. No, it's from Ollie, so it's nice. That looks like a really thick nice powder coating. Oh my goodness. Look this. Look at how beautiful. That's a gorgeous piece. Yep, that's that's a metal to metal connection right there. That is. That is. Yep. There's no slop in that. These are Heim joints. They got a rubber boot on them because this company makes a lot of stuff for like rally, so you don't want to get a lot of dirt and stuff into your Heim joints. So to make this nice boot, these are also adjustable lengthwise, so you know, that's cool. <laughs> More adjustables. Hey, yeah. More adjustables is always on the menu. More adjustables. <clears throat> so, trailing arms, pull rear subframe. And uh, a lot of hammering and massaging <laughs> yeah. is on the way. Yeah. If we don't have chunks missing from all four of our combined hands <laughs> within the next two hours, something has either gone horribly wrong or we quit before we even got started. Maybe it'll go horribly right. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about this. Yeah. You should be. Because this is race car. <laughs> Just, just do this. It's good. You probably won't break that. <laughs> I, I, probably. I can't. Yeah. Most, I can't. Mo <laughs> most parts Mark pulls out of a car, he can actually manipulate himself yeah. just with his stupid gorilla fingers. So I, this is very promising. I have been known. Yeah. So get ready for track content. But for right now, uh, let's throw this bastard in. What do you say? All of them. Okay. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay <laughs> tuned for more content.
This video is not over yet. Oh yeah. God, I wish it was. I really don't want to do this. Ugh. Just shut your whore mouth. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just gonna go make more coffee and hang out with my dogs. You should definitely make more coffee. <sighs> I don't know what's in this box. Oh! It's a Ziploc bag full of goodies. Is <laughs> that literally a Ziploc? Yeah, it's a, it says right there, Ziploc. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah. You know, Blur that Ziploc. Out. Blur it out. We use these a lot when we're doing our stuff because we got to organize all Is of our parts. Is that Johnson and Johnson? Is Ziploc made by Johnson? SC Johnson, a family company. Just go f myself, I suppose. Yeah. Ziploc, if you're watching this, we use these all the time because, you know, we're part time mechanics and full time lovers. <laughs> Could you not? But for. <laughs> Shit didn't work! <laughs> yeah. Damn it! We still got like eight hours of work to go. Uh, All right, well, I guess the first step is to remove this giant freaking pipe. Oh my god, we have to pull the exhaust and we have to pull everything out of the back, dude. Yeah, we gotta gut this. Oh, gut this, Mo. So we can Frick. double the flavor, double the fun. By the way, this is our third day recording in a row, so if we're a little uh, off our rockers, that's why. Ugh, holy crap. Okay. Okay. Real quick, Mark, what, what are you doing? Oh, I'm ordering some parts. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so, I probably should have just bit the bullet and ordered it while I ordered the rear subframe and the trailing arms, but there's this right here, this T-bar, which is like the, it supports the front of the differential and it bolts to the front of the car. Hmm. Well, this thing has a ton of like flex and these super soft bushings. Gross. And they're like torn around the inside here. So what I'm gonna do is I just found a white line kit and I'm gonna order these bushings right here. That way we can obviously replace these bushings with some nice stiff polyurethane ones. Um, and maybe that will help as well, cause this sucks <laughs> tremendously. <laughs> like this is terrible. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna continue and order these and uh, we'll see where we're at. But all we, all we have left is the just the drive shaft, right? And then this thing's pretty much ready to go after these lockdown bolts, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna disconnect the drive shaft. Um, the front of this is already disconnected. I mean, it's just those bolts in the back. I'm basically gonna like support the front. And then we can... We'll lower that. Right. Okay. Because, okay, also, as was talked about earlier, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see what my finger's on. Right in between these two mounting points for the subframe, the center bolt, which is a 3 8 Allen head, um, are the lockdown bolts, correct? Center bolt? Yeah, the center bolt is the subframe lockdown bolt. Cool, okay. So that threads into a factory body hole. Those, the Subaru, they don't come with those from the factory. Those, the bolts themselves. They come with the threaded hole, mm -hmm. but they don't come with the bolts for some reason. I don't know why they do it, but it those bolts actually help like prevent the subframe from moving around a little bit because they're crap. The bushings are soft. Right. Obviously. So that's almost kind of like a cheat code like to lock it hard to the frame. Yes. That's dope. That's cool. Subaru stuff is actually pretty neat. And if, you, if you've worked on a lot of Japanese vehicles before, you know that usually they think things through a little more thoroughly than, <laughs> than domestic uh, vehicles. Manufacturers. Oh, good shot of the exhaust. That downpipe is beautiful. You know what brand that is? The downpipe? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what brand that is. I see a thing right here. It says Kakume. What? Yeah. There's actually something written on that downpipe? Yeah, it's straight up Japanese. Oh, never mind. Megaflow Impreza Deep DP downpipe. Yeah, there's Japanese writing on it. It says K A K U M E I. Kakume? Kakume? 
I don't speak Japanese or even close, but it's a beautiful piece. I kind of want to Google that. Mark, where'd you get this? <laughs> T-bar is coming with. So the T-bar is going to have to come down and over the brake line or the the brake cables. That's not going to go. It will. As soon as it drops down a little bit. We'll just t twist it. Yeah, we'll just come out this way over the top. I should have the good stuff for this. Good? Yep. You good? good? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to start kind of coming back. Did that screw you? What? Did that screw you when I did that? No, you want to lock that in right there. Yep. We're on the brake lines pretty hard. I'm going to twist this, come around. Oh, uh, I'm so close on the side. All right. Yep. I got this side over. Hold on. This side's over. Coming down slow. Go for it. As you guys can see, it's almost completely out at this point. Just wrestling with our brake cable. Yeah. Maybe I should have. Okay. Oh, cool. Now let's do the thing. Sweet! Nice, dude. Uh, oh, shit. Right on. <laughs> That's rear subframe. I want to see where it's bent so bad. Impreza Basaru. <laughs> Very impressive teardown here. I don't know what a basaru is. I don't know either. Basically, one of these ears is bent. All right. Sweet. So now we can unbolt the diff in the diff cradle here. We can unbolt the tr the uh, lateral links on both sides. We can unbolt the T bar and swap the new stuff over to this. Ooh, new here. hotness. The new hotness. Mm -hmm. So, kind of unwrapped it, but. Okay. This thing is much bigger and much prettier than that one, but this is gonna fit just like this. Man. 
Yeah, that looks <laughs> that looks so good, dude. It's a big difference, huh? That looks so good. Outstanding. I don't want to put all of this back until I get those T-bar bushings, just because it's going to be a lot easier to do those T-bar bushings. Right. Because the T-bar bolts over the top of the differential, so if we put all this in, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get the T-bar back out. That would be miserable. So We'd have to pretty much do everything that we just did again. Exactly. At a bare minimum, we'd have to loosen all of this stuff and lower the subframe so we can tip the snout down here so that we can get the T-bar off. Hold on, I'm sorry. Do you read that? Can you read that? Impreza Basaru? <laughs> yeah. I, I literally read that. <laughs> when? I, when I wiped it off and I said Impreza Basaru. Oh. And you're like, it is a Subaru. <laughs> you said, I'd like to see where this thing is bent. Oh, and you said Impreza Basaru. Boss. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, that. that's exactly what all I said. of that. Literally, exactly what I said. Cool. Right on. Your face will. Oh, <laughs> no, that's good. That's pretty much loosely put this in. That looks so rad. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, oh boy. Might have to grind those down. Might have to grind those down. One fits, the other one doesn't. Are you stoked? God, I'm so stoked. <laughs> that looks so good. That's proper sick. How do you even make a jig for this? Oh, these TSS boys. They know what they're doing. <laughs> oh! Gearbox cross member mount. Oh, these are good. Okay. That looks rad. That looks rad. <clears throat> okay.